So it's seven in the morning in Chobe Reserve and we've had three visitors pass through camp. So if you look at the huge paws here, that is the paw of a huge male lion. So you can tell it's a lion by its huge size and how much it's sinking into the sand. But also a cat's paw is incredibly distinctive. It has four huge toes. Then on the rear pad, it has three parts to it. That's how you can tell it's a cat. The lion came in from down there, but then over here, he was rejoined by one of his brothers. So now there's two lions. Now we can't quite make out where the third lion came in, but the three of them walked that direction through camp. When you have an ecosystem with such a high abundance of prey, it is no surprise that you can find multiple competing predators. And as mentioned in the previous episode, we will be searching for some of Africa's top predators today, particularly the big cats. In this episode, we will be looking for cheetahs and lions. Apex predators such as this live in a very low population density compared to their prey, so are not always the easiest to find. But some leave clues, such as stained scent marks on the side of trees. But which cat made this? A male cheetah. The world's fastest land animal, capable of reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. He scans the horizon for potential prey. And he's not alone. He is also joined by his brother. Cheetahs are one of the most specialised species of big cats, specialised to hunt the fastest of animals, such as gazelle and impala. Their unusual anatomy, after millions of years of evolution, has evolved for one purpose, speed. The skull and the ribcage of the cheetah, compared to other cats, are proportionally much smaller, therefore making them more lightweight. Claws that are not retractable, acting as running spikes. A longer and more flexible spine, allowing for a greater stride length. A large nasal cavity, for maximum oxygen uptake during their high-speed sprints, and reducing their recovery time. Cheetahs truly are the sports car of the cat world, and really are a spectacular looking predator. However, their extreme specialization has come at a serious cost. Cheetahs sacrificed a lot to become the fastest, including the physical strength to defend their kills from other predators, such as lions, hyenas and leopards. As a result, cheetahs lose about 70% of their kills to other predators. This, alongside their need for a large home range, in an ever-shrinking world, makes them one of the most vulnerable species of big cats. And the increasing fragmentation of their populations is reducing their gene flow, and in the long term, their reproductive capabilities. The two brothers head into the bush to find shade. They also scent mark various trees to deter any other male cheetahs that trespass into their territory. Cheetahs are incredibly shy, timid predators and have a very low population density. It is now estimated that there are only six and a half thousand cheetahs left in the wild and their numbers are still declining. Life really isn't easy for a top predator, let alone a cheetah. The two brothers weren't particularly phased about our presence. However, the brothers had other things to worry about as nearby is a much greater danger. African lions. A lion will not hesitate to kill a cheetah as a way of eliminating competition. This is a pride of at least 30 strong, and they are on the hunt. But what are they looking for? An impala? No, too quick. Or perhaps a wildebeest? Mm, maybe not, too small. 
if you've got over 30 mouths to feed, then they're going to need to hunt something much bigger. And these lionesses know exactly what animal they're looking for. This pride specializes in hunting giraffe, and they successfully made a kill overnight. It can take a pride of lions hours to bring down a fully grown giraffe, and they are always at risk of serious injury. But right now, the lions are content, with full bellies, and a nice sunset to relax under. One of the males is still eating, however, and his brother is on his way with his numerous and rather excitable young cubs. This lion pride had six cubs, and all will be fiercely protected by the pride's two males. Once the cubs arrive to the kill site, some choose to relax and chill out in the shade whilst the others get stuck into the giraffe. <laughs> Eventually, the lead male is more interested in one of the lionesses, who is now in season, leaving the carcass unattended. The other lionesses and younger males now seize the opportunity to eat more food, and with there being little meat left, <laughs> arguments break out over having the best share. But the other male hasn't had his share yet. He sees the other lions feasting on the carcass. And that cannot be tolerated. The top males always get to eat first. The other lions know their position in the pecking order. And it's wise for them to stay out of his way. Lions are the apex predator in this ecosystem. And every other animal, including other apex predators, fear them. But being the top predator also makes you the most vulnerable. Lions, cheetahs and leopards are what's known as a keystone species, and their role in the ecosystem is crucial. They help by maintaining a stable population of herbivores. About a hundred years ago, there were 200,000 lions living in Africa. Now it is sought at only 20,000, or maybe even less, are still alive in the wild today. This charismatic and iconic big cat has been on this planet for millions of years, far longer than humans have been on this planet. And it may soon go extinct, all because of us. The fate of the cheetah, the lions, and all their upcoming generations lies in our hands. By maintaining their populations, we also maintain the health and the unrivaled beauty of Africa's wilderness.